Do you want to level up your game by learning how to import data from the web? Today you'll become an expert in this process in the next three minutes. So if you've ever been on the internet and you find there's some data that you want to bring into Excel, but perhaps you're uncertain the best way to do that, obviously you're not going to type everything in. But if you look at like the page I'm looking at here on Wikipedia, I see a list of all the S&P 500 companies. Now, if I wanted to, I could sit here and hide, highlight every single data element and copy and paste it in. However, if you've done this before, sometimes you realize it doesn't always copy in exactly the way it looks on the website. So Excel has a feature that does this for you. So what you'll need to do is if once you find the data that you want, what you want to click in, click into the URL and copy it. And then you go over to Excel and you go over to a clean sheet and you go to the data tab and you'll find in the get and transform data section that says from web. So you'll click on that and then you will be prompted to enter the URL that we just copied a second ago. You paste this in and you hit OK. Excel will now go in and analyze that website and bring back all of the tables that it can bring into Excel. So you'll have to then select which one that you want. So we see it right here, it's found three tables. So what you can do is highlight each one and on the right hand side now you'll see over here what it's going to bring in. That's not what we want. The second one here, this is exactly what we want. So we highlight this, like what we see here and then you click down here the load button and it will now bring in all of this data into Excel just as it looked in Wikipedia. Okay, so this is a great one-time static import, but you know, there is data elements that you will find from time to time that are actually changing data. So that uh, might change by the day, the hour, the week, what have you, and you wanna find a way to constantly refresh this data. So now we'll look at an example for that. So now I'm gonna look at a listing from basketballreference.com, the current 2020 NBA standings down here. So I see this listing right here of the standings for all the NBA teams, and this is data that changes every single night as new games are played. So let's find a way that we could bring this data into Excel as well. So we'll go out to a clean sheet, we'll follow the exact same process, we'll click on data, and then the from web button. It's gonna prompt us once again for the URL, I'll paste that in, and hit okay, and it's gonna analyze the website and then give me options of what I can bring in. I wanna bring in the conference standings table, what we just looked at, and I can hit load, and it will bring in the data just as we saw with the S&P 500. Now, as I spoke about, this data is gonna change every single night as new games are being played. So if I wanted to refresh this, all I have to do is go up and click this refresh button and it will update the data. However, I'm lazy, I don't wanna do that. So what I wanna instead is set this up to upload or refresh automatically. So under the refresh, I click the down icon. I go down to connection properties and you'll see a section here or a checkbox that says refresh data when opening the file. So check that and hit okay. Now, every time I reopen this file, it will go out to that website and bring in a refresh copy of all of the data. I will caution you that you wanna make sure that you're bringing data over from a website that allows this. So you may want to look to see if there are any disclaimers on the website that tell you that you cannot, are you, whether they allow it or not for you to refresh data from their website. However, I just use um, Wikipedia and Basketball Reference as examples only. Please do your own research. I hope this has been educational for you. If you have any questions or have any suggestions, please list them below. And I hope you have a great day.